there's, there's substantial evidence, not only from observational studies, but also from intervention trials, that dairy products can help reduce weight or reduce weight gain with time. The most successful intervention studies have been those that are looking at weight loss diets and putting dairy as part of a weight loss diet seems to be able to enhance the effects of weight loss. In the Framingham study, we looked at um, over 3,000 individuals and followed them for over 12 years. And we were able to see that, that overall dairy products did reduce weight gain in that cohort by over 50% over that time period. We also saw that it also reduced the, um, the rate of gain in waist circumference by about 15% over that same time period. Yogurt is a really, con you can think of it as a condensed uh, form of, of dairy where we're really enhancing the levels of protein, calcium and magnesium and, and potassium relative to other dairy products. So it's a very nutritionally dense uh, food. So conceptually we have a good idea of what nutrient density means and what nutrient dense foods are. Operationally, it can be very difficult, though, because there's many different ways of operationalizing nutrient density, trying to define, you know, how you characterize uh, a food as nutrient dense. And the debate over uh, energy and obesity, that we really want to focus on, on foods that are nutrient dense, that's that they have a high uh, levels of nutrients of need relative to the caloric content of the, of the uh, product. So it's, a, it's not only a nutrient dense, uh, food. It's also a nutrient-dense food that provides nutrients that we really need that are short in our diet.